Hello. Look, we're back on our E46 drift project. Today we're going to demonstrate something for you. How we are using 3D scanners to build a bash bar. You are not going to see the final product because it takes some time. You can see over there, Rock is already building one and uh, not for this car, but uh, yeah, it's a quite longer process. That's why we're just going to demonstrate how we scan, how we measure everything, and then how Matas design it uh, using PC. If you remember, the last time I showed you the Shining 3D Instar scanner, and uh, it's a highly used tool in our workshop. We made some adjustments, and uh, now it has a separate handle to make it easier to use and uh, easier to hold. This is definitely what I recommend you to build. There is a free file in printables, I think, uh, where you can download it and uh, print it by yourselves. So yeah, uh, give it a try and uh, uh, trust me, it's much easier to use. But there is something else we wanted to show you today and it's a oh, huge box. We got something else to try from uh, Shining 3D. This company trusts in our projects, trusts in our channel and said, hey guys, maybe you would like to try something different, uh, something more professional. And uh, as we are always into new technologies and uh, new stuff and better stuff that helps us to progress and improve, we said, definitely, yes, sure, we want to try it. So already from the box, you can see how much bigger it is, uh, at least the box, uh, compared to Instar. For the home usage, uh, I think it would be harder to find a place to store this box uh, rather than this beautiful and uh, stylish portemonnaie. You can see, you can put it like that. It fits perfectly, uh, the black, uh, logo uh, with a white uh, looks uh, just awesome to my garderobe but uh, jokes aside you can understand that this is a home use entry level 3d scanner which has endless possibilities and this one is pro level we can call it like that and let's take a look inside what we got here i think you are imagining that it's gonna be huge and uh, something really, really big, but it's not. It's quite uh, small and simple. We got some markers, power supply, some wiring, but most important thing is a scanner. Yes, as you can see, it's quite small. And uh, let me grab the Instar. With the handle, you have really similar size and everything, and uh, both of them are comfortable to hold right now. Once again, I really recommend you to build some kind of handle for your Instar. It will help you a lot and uh, make things easier because this one, just by design, is much easier to hold, to work with, and uh, we can spin around without just holding with your fingers like you would do with Instar, but with the handle, you can grip it securely and uh, work. Only two connections, USB and I think power or something else. With the Instar, we got one connection and uh, we different. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm uh, bullshitting. We already tried it because the process of the calibration was uh, quite difficult to be honest, because it's a pro level scanner. This is why you need such a big box, because the calibration plate is enormous and heavy, for sure. You can see how many uh, dots it has for the scanning. It has some QR codes, so it can recognize it and etc. So it's uh, heavy stuff, for real. Much heavier than uh, the scanner itself, I bet you could put the scanner by itself to the similar shape box like the Instar. Let's put it back. We are not going to use it right now because the calibration process for me personally is much more difficult and uh, requires more work than Instar. But uh, 
Yeah, it uh, has bigger accuracy and uh, this is what you get uh, when you have uh, something more exciting to work on and more professional. It's definitely not for the hobbyists, but uh, we will conclude everything as soon as we will finish with trying it and scanning with both scanners. We are going to begin with AINSCAN HX and the main difference is uh, between AINSTAR and HX that it has laser mode, uh, which is more accurate. You can easily scan dark objects, you can uh, scan reflective surfaces and uh, you don't have to put on uh, any kind of uh, powder or scanning spray because lasers allow you to just do it this way. But the requirement for that is uh, markers. We already put some of them over here, so the laser knows and uh, the software knows how to track and uh, combine uh, different parts because it's going to scan only the spots that uh, laser hits. And if you're using rapid scan, you can uh, scan bigger areas, uh, but it's uh, harder to get into the dark spots or holes or anything like that so that's why we are going the laser way and after that we will try with the instar so uh, it will be easier for us to compare uh, both results and uh, to see which one is better maybe the entry level scanner is not that bad no, it's not bad, it's great, uh, just it's for the different applications. So let's go. I'm going to use high detail, so it's uh, gonna be easier for Matos to measure everything inside the CAD software and make uh, the bash bar uh, more next to the sides and uh, make some fixings for the bumper and other parts. What I'm going to do right now is to lift the car. We don't have a trunk over here, so I can fit from underneath of the car. I'm not going to lift it too much, so it's gonna be easier to reach uh, all the sides and everything. But uh, for now, this is more than enough. Let's give it a try. One thing to mention, uh, what is uh, also important for us, is to uh, choose the reflective surfaces because the fiberglass body is made of epoxy and fiberglass and uh, the surface uh, can reflect the light. That's why it's gonna be easier for me to scan and do it faster. As you can see, during the preview, uh, you can see the markers, how the scanner going to track everything and uh, how many markers you need. So per view, per viewport, you need at least three markers. And uh, I'm missing some over here. So let me put a few. It's a quite easy process. You just grab a sheet and uh, simply put on. Now your uh, scanner is gonna be happy that it's easier for it to track everything. Another thing is that simple markers printed in any print shop won't work. The scanner requires different kind of markers with reflective surface, so it's uh, easier for it to track everything. Make sure that you are using the correct ones because if the incorrect ones, it's gonna be harder for you to scan I mean, it's gonna be impossible to scan because the scanner not going to recognize them and it's not gonna work. Let's hope it's gonna be enough. Let's put one more here and one more over here. Okay, we will see. If we need more markers and we see that it's losing track, we can easily add more at any point. But for now, let's give it a try. As you can see, as scanner recognizes markers, it starts to shoot multiple lasers and you can start scanning. The surface that is being scanned by the scanner is uh, the exact spots where a laser hits the surface. After hitting it, coming back, if the scanner lost tracking, so just simply come back 
to the previous state and uh, start over from where you've been scanning before. And with this scanner, it's important to mention that you have to hold it further away from uh, the surface than Ainstar because for the laser it's harder to scan the surface while it's nearby. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit slow right now because I'm trying to uh, scan and track everything. So my uh, brain thread already in use with the scanning process. So as you can see, we got the scan data. Uh, we can choose what to remove. Uh, it is not required and we can delete it. So it's not gonna take too long for us to process everything and generate point cloud, uh, generate the mesh. So uh, remember that uh, by keeping the stuff that it's not required and you don't need it just adds additional time for processing your scan data and you're wasting resources resources are important and you can come back at any point if you don't want to delete it you see that you removed too much you can unselect and etc i'm not going to show you how i'm generating point cloud because it's quite obvious matters We'll talk about the end result, how the scan looks like in the CAD, uh, is it usable or not. And now let's give it a try for our beloved Ainstar. Now you can definitely hear that uh, Ainstar is running. HX had lower sound, but maybe this one is, requires a bit more cooling because it's uh, in smaller case and etc. So let's give it a try. From the beginning you can see that it requires me to keep the scanner closer but as it's not scanning using the lasers it scans in bigger viewport but not that detailed and uh, maybe a little bit harder for the reflective surfaces but overall it's quite good and scanning of it is a little bit slower because you have to move a little bit slower not to lose track as we are not using markers for this scan additionally it's harder to see the scan surfaces because with lasers it's easier to understand which part of the body is scanned right now but overall for entry-level scanner it's just brilliant it's hard for me to express how great it is and uh, Talking about the result, how impressed I am. On the software, you can see the quality indicators. So it means that the green parts of the scan are better quality and has enough points to generate a better quality point cloud and the mesh. And uh, the orange, it says that, hey, it would be great if you would come over and scan a little bit closer and etc. But with the latest software of 1.2, the Shining 3D did a really great job improving it because right now the tracking and everything works much better and uh, you can scan the whole car definitely easier and faster. Of course, you still have to use scanning powder or scanning spray for the reflective surfaces but still the result i think is just great you can take a look if we are missing something we can see that maybe this part requires a little bit more so we can come back and wait for it to catch where it should be and we can scan a little bit more over here see if the holes are filled and then i have this 3d printed mount for the scanner it's even easier to work and faster so i believe that if you not uh, acquire to scan too many reflective surfaces or uh, too dark parts so ainstar is uh, 
definitely way to go. But if you're scanning a lot under the car, the body panels that are reflective, especially if the body is, uh, I think, white, I can't remember correctly, so if I'm mistaken, so it's gonna be definitely harder to scan uh, with the Instar and HX is uh, your way to go. But uh, this little baby is just just impressive. Furthermore, the Shining 3D just released uh, the XStar uh, software version for the Mac, and so now you can use your Instar with the MacBook. For example, I have MacBook by myself. It's much easier for me because uh, with the Windows uh, laptop, it requires really lots of resources, really good uh, GPU and etc. And uh, I give it a shot for the macOS app and my MacBook is M1 Pro with 32 gigabytes of RAM and I was impressed. Uh, I'm really looking forward for them to release it publicly and uh, wow. To be honest, it works even faster than our sleeper with a dedicated uh, GPU, 64 uh, gigabytes of RAM, and etc. For the MacBook users and, uh, and uh, 3D uh, scanner users, it's gonna be a deal breaker. And uh, uh, other scanners, uh, like we had before, <laughs> we're just going to throw them to the trash. Because compared to this, Bad boy, there's nothing to compare. You can't compare Lada to a Ferrari. You don't do that. I think enough of my talks. I will leave the software to generate point cloud, the mesh, and uh, give it a moment for the matters to show you what we have scanned and how it compares when we are talking about the dimensions, accuracy, and all other stuff. Time for matters. Right now I'm looking at uh, scan data from NSTAR scanner. What I see that uh, it has colors, uh, which might be very helpful when you have uh, smooth or flat areas. So it's easier to determine uh, certain places, uh, areas or spots uh, you want to model uh, while reverse engineering. Talking about the quality, no doubt that quality is very good, really very good to work with cars in general. While working with scans, it's, it helps uh, me a lot uh, because I don't have to take measures from different corners and angles and spots on the car. I just have everything in one piece in my software and just like that I can create objects and see how it looks, how it would look like in reality. So right now uh, let's take a look at in scan HX scan data, which obviously doesn't have any colors because Justine has used laser scanning method. The quality is also very good. There's a great thing about laser scanning that the, there are no overlaps, which uh, saves time because when you have overlaps, then you need to define which areas of scan data are correct and so on it's sometimes might be difficult i could say that both scans from the first look they pretty much the same are detailed uh, enough i can see uh, in both scans all, all the stuff i need you already saw the different processes of scanning with instar of scanning with inscan hx matas told you the differences between the meshed uh, scan data and uh, I think we should sum up what we got over here and uh, then you should choose and what you should choose for your hobby or workshop. For me personally, I would prefer Ainstar because it's a real bang for the buck. You can achieve really great results with it and uh, by printing such custom body which you can print by yourself for it, it can become ultimate machine, uh, which can do lots of stuff. It can help you fabricate, it can help you reverse engineer. For example, if you have something broken or no longer manufactured. So uh, yeah, uh, this makes designing of the stuff faster and definitely more uh, efficient. Uh, but if we are talking about the body kits, holes, uh, the dark uh, parts of the scan body, especially for the car. HX is the way to go because you don't have to think about is the surface too reflective, is it gonna be uh, well scanned and etc. So this one is 
definitely for the shops, for the professionals that builds something big and for the simple uh, workshops and hobbyists, Instar is like, I know, just uh, really bang for the buck. You can achieve great results, you can do and create amazing projects. So I think that's it. Thank you Shining 3D for letting us try uh, these scanners. I know that we have uh, many more at their uh, product uh, list, so maybe we will try uh, the additional one. I know that we released something even uh, bigger, I mean by the feature set, than aim scan, and you can use laser scanning without any markers. So, yeah. I would love to try that because with uh, laser scanning you can achieve definitely much higher accuracy and better details rather than with uh, rapid scanning. So yeah, and if you think that you need a 3D scanner, uh, you can use our uh, coupon code or just use our link. With our coupon code you can get a discount. So uh, yeah, uh, try it by yourself and uh, again, Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for following our projects. We have many more uh, incoming. We are building something else right now, but you will see that later. So thank you again and see you next time. Bye.